Well done. Thank you. 736 in today's hot topic, a WGN exclusive about a secret mission to bring peace to the Middle East. Scientists from 10 nations recently got together to discuss the problems in the region. And they haven't been able to talk about the secret meeting until now. Dr. Zafra Lerman, a chemistry professor and the head of the Science Institute at Columbia College, is one of the chairs of the meeting and joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, tell us, first of all, how can scientists bring peace to the region? Uh, scientists have something in common, they have the science as a language, so they speak the same language, all of them. And when we arrived to this conference, it took a few seconds for everybody to realize that we are all from the same world, speaking the same language, and have the same interest. Right. And this is why scientists can yeah, really it's, change. It's interesting. Well, let's see if we can show this picture here. So you have an Arab and Israeli scientists sitting at the same table, correct? You had many Arabs and Israelis yeah. sitting, yes. Here it's uh, six nations, at least, or five nations in the, around this uh, picture. But specifically, and this question will mean different things for w different kinds of countries. If a government says, I want you to make this chemical weapon or this kind of weapon, a uh, weapon of mass destruction, what can a scientist do? There is enough in history cases where scientists in England, it happened, uh, I think in the 19th century, where the government came to famous scientists and said, can that be done, developing this terrible weapon? The scientists said, yes. They said, so can you start it? He said, no. Mm. It can be done, but I am not going to do it. Right. It happened in the U.S. many times that scientists refused to get grants mm. to work on issues of mass mm -hmm. destruction. So scientists not always mm -hmm. accept what the government... But aren't a lot of the materials, I, I think of like nuclear power, for example, it can be used in a bad way, but it can be used in, it can be applied in so many positive ways. It must be very tricky. It's very tricky, but uh, you raise nuclear power. I want to make a clear it here. Nuclear power cannot be a bomb. There is a very big difference mm -hmm. in the enrichment that you use that it cannot become a bomb. But sure, there are a lot of uh, developments that can be for benefit and mm -hmm. for harmful uses. What about whether you talked about it officially or unofficially? Did you talk about whether Iraq had weapons of mass destruction? No, we did not mention it at all in the conference. We talked what can we do together, all these scientists, to improve the situation in the P Middle East and to bring stability to the Middle yeah. East. And what was the number one uh, finding? The number one finding was that all of them were very concerned with water resources, the environment, and science education in the region. Right. Why does that make a difference in bringing peace to the world? Because when you have faces to the countries, if everybody worked together, if you see the picture where they sit together, as a matter of fact, yeah, in the one. front of the picture, right. you have there a man and a woman. Uh, he is Israeli, she's Egyptian. Yeah. But it didn't matter from where people came. They all had the same things in common. And when you start solving problems of environment, of yeah. water, of food, of health, of natural products, then you can achieve peace because right. there is understanding. It's a great point. 